Hello, and welcome to another unboxing video sponsored by Connectus. My name is Brian East, and today we will be looking at the Point E300 cellular router. And be sure to check out my little challenge for you at the end of the video. Should be fun. Now, this device is part of the Point branch deployment series of fixed wireless routers and adapters, along with the W2005, E3000, and the W1850. And this one is the compact brother of the powerful E3000. Now, each of these branch tailored routers supports all major U.S. carriers, has standardized C-band support, net cloud management, and robust hardware inside. The E300 unit is an indoor device, along with the E3000 and W1850, while the W2005 unit is outdoor. However, all support the Cradle Point captive modem feature which allows external ethernet connected modem to be placed closer to the signal source. Great for scenarios where the router would live in a low signal strength area. Now the Cradle Point NetCloud Enterprise Branch service with the E300 series router is ideally suited for providing 4G and 5G cellular connectivity, agile VPN security, and cellular optimized SD-WAN to pop up temporary locations, branches, stores, and clinics. And the Cradle Point NetCloud service for the E300 provides everything needed to unlock the power of LTE at the network edge and connect users to the IoT devices to critical applications and services. The cloud capabilities include group policy definition, reports, troubleshooting, and analytics dashboards. The NetCloud Manager delivers true zero-touch deployment with the ability to define and deliver policy across entire groups of endpoints. Users can create cloud orchestrated hub and spoke VPN network and gain insight and analytics required for rapid troubleshooting and diagnostic workflows. Using the NetCloud Manager, you're able to set cutting edge security practices, complex routing and tunneling, and robust failover redundancy with little difficulty. This device boasts end-to-end -end device security through OpenVPN, access control, encrypted configuration, monitoring, threat alerts, hacker prevention, and password protection, along with many more advanced security features. The E300 is equipped with a variety of connections to handle nearly any networking scenario. You can choose from a Cat4 2x2 MIMO or a Cat18 4x4 MIMO meaning it will be able to accept a future 5G modular modem. It is further equipped with an internal 5-port Ethernet switch, a 10-gig SFP Plus port for fiber optic run, and internal Wi-Fi 6 broadcasting on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. The Cradle Point E300 has a modem expansion slot that is 5G optimized. Being 5G upward compatible offers investment protection when the next generation of networks roll out and the Cradle Point NetCloud for branch with E300 series enterprise router is best suited for pop-up temporary locations, branches, stores, and clinics, as well as many others. Ideally, when combined with the need for security services at that scale with a performance, the all-in-one form factor includes full-featured routing, security, switching with PoE ports, and Wi-Fi making it easy to connect branches to the internet and critical applications without the need for extra hardware or complicated configuration. All right, let's open it up. Now, the first thing you'll notice is a little insert. It's telling you to go to the Cradle Point Verify in the App Store and download it. This will help you get set up uh, initially into the NetCloud Manager. And then is our Cradle point antenna alignment instructions, and on the flip side is your wall mount template. Now, there are various configurations, and you can read them right here, and the screw holes that uh, correspond to each different mounting configuration. On the flip side is a five-step process on mounting your antennae and aligning them correctly. We'll get into that a little bit later. And finally, we've got our E300 device. Now this, uh, this is made from a very pretty high grade industrial plastic. So while it's pretty lightweight, it's also very, very durable. And on the front here, you've got your various LEDs, got your cellular signal strength in these four right over here, your power, your Wi-Fi, 
set up a VPN if you're going to use a secondary modular modem that lights up right there. Now over here, speaking of that modular modem, is your gate. We open up the gate. And you can see you've got a slot right here for an MC400 modular modem. Uh, now this device has an integrated modem, but if you wanted to add a second one, this is where you would put it. Great for uh, rider diversity or if you needed some extra bandwidth. Also are your dual 2FF SIM slots. Uh, they're going to be put your primary one right here. You, you could actually put them uh, your primary in either one. Though I recommend putting it in one. So if you if you have just one SIM that you're going to use right now, go ahead and put it into slot one. That way, if you do a second slit SIM sometime in the future, you're not going to have to do extra configuration, unnecessary configuration. Once you've put your SIMs in, you go ahead and shut this gate, allowing it to power on. And then you'll notice in the box is a tiny little Phillips head screw. Now with the gate closed, the device will be able to power on, but it won't be able to transmit any data until the screw has been screwed in. So don't forget that extra part. It's not just cosmetic. Flipping onto the underside, you've got your mounting holes right here for your screws, depending on the configuration you want. And also in the box are your, uh, your four uh, rubber rubber feet. They're adhesive on the back and they correspond to each of these four slots. On our back end, a lot of stuff going on back here. First you've got your uh, your four pin Molex connector for your power and your toggle switch, USB connector, GPS uh, connector for the GPS antenna if you want to use it. Little reset hole right here. Always you would uh, press press the reset button down for three seconds with your universal reset tool, which is just a paper clip that's been unfolded. Your SFP plus slot right over here and five ethernet ports. This blue one is a WAN port though they are LAN WAN uh, interchangeable. Over here is your expansion slot, which is really cool. The, uh, you can add like a Bluetooth uh, module in there or whatever other kind of module you'd like. You notice there are four antennae connectors right here, and they're all for cellular antennae. There isn't a Wi-Fi antenna set up here. The Wi-Fi is internal. The antenna is internal, and it's a Wi-Fi 6, so it's the latest generation. But you've got your main 0 and 1, and your div 0 and 1 right here as well. So your mains are for your 5G, and your divs are for 4G LTE. Moving forward, we've got our two screws with their accompanying wall anchors, your 12 volt, three amp power adapter. Uh, again, it's a four pin Molex. Your four cellular antennae. And remember, these are interchangeable. They can go on any of the uh, antenna connectors on the device. And finally, your antenna alignment tool. And now for the quick and easy installation. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is determine where you wanna mount this thing on the wall. And using the mounting configuration template, you're gonna put your wall anchors and screws into the correct spots. We won't hang the device quite yet, but it's good to have that staged. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is flip this over and put your adhesive rubber feet on each of these holes right here. Next, we're going to open our SIM gate and install our SIM cards according to how we're gonna do uh, just one or two here. And if you've got your modular modem, the MC400, you can put that in there as well. Then you're gonna close the gate, again, allowing the device to power on, and then get your electronics Phillips head screwdriver to screw in this miniature screw so that it can transmit data. After that's done, we're going to flip it over and put on our antennae. So we've got the four antennae right here, and they're just standard paddle antennae. And if you remember, I said they don't really have uh, any specific slot they can go into, so they're interchangeable. You're gonna twist them around, and you're gonna wanna make this to where it's thumb tight. Uh, what I mean by that 
is that if you, you do it too slow or too loose, then what happens is you lose some signal, the, the antennae get wobbly, and if you do it too strongly, you run the risk of damaging the equipment. And now we set the device down, and this is where our antennae, antenna configuration tool comes into place. So we're gonna pull up our main zero and main one antennae, and we're gonna just set our antennae alignment tool and click it into place right there. Now that our antennae are set, we're gonna plug in the device. This is our 12 volt, three amp AC adapter, and we plug it in right over here on the four pin Molex slot and then plug it into the wall and you are ready to go. And now for a little fun. This chessboard on the next slide is going to show you a scenario in which it's Black's turn to move with checkmate in three moves. See if you can figure it out and put your answer in the comments. This is Brian East with another Connecta sponsored unboxing video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code on the following slide. I'll see you next time.